because I know you all, I mean, I can't believe that you're out here in this heat. It's unbelievable. What a show of support. We had a lot of supporters there. We had, uh, even it was, what was the temperature out there? 100 degrees? <laughs> we had a big crowd, and I am very grateful for my support. Honestly, you're always nervous, and I guess if you're not, then uh, something's wrong with you. <laughs> so, but it was, it was a real privilege to be up there, and, and I hope a lot of people tuned in, and I hope that we will hear from them. This is, I think, the 24th forum or something, and there's certain standard questions you normally get. So this, they actually, they gave us other questions that uh, some, when you don't have time to think of it ahead of time, you really have to think fast on your feet. Uh, so it's always a challenge, but it's good. You know, it's all something that we do as part of the campaign. So all of the questions were fine. Right now, if you became mayor, what would you walk in the door and go, we're not doing that. We're going to stop this development right now because we don't need to do that. It's nice, not necessary. Name a development kind of surprising questions and that sort of thing. It caught a couple of us a little bit off guard. Uh, you know, well, where exactly are you going with that? But overall, I think it went really well. And, and uh, I think the questions overall were wonderful questions. They were good questions. I think uh, it, the responses, I think it just worked well. I think everybody got a chance to hear what the candidates really were, you know, had to hear something, hear what they were about. And I just felt like it, you know, it was an opportunity to really express you know, it's very limited time-wise. You've got one minute or most of the time 30 seconds, so you can't say much. But, you know, that's a good drill in itself. I think it was an opportunity for me to introduce some important concepts that, that I just felt like it was a, a real good and timely opportunity to, to put some of those ideas out there. Not all my ideas, but I got to put a few of them out there, like looking at dissolving KUB and making it a part of city government. I think everything went great. I'm really happy to get to share my vision for a growing, a vibrant economy and then creating jobs here in Knoxville. That's what we're going to be focused on. We got to share that tonight. Debates are always great. Anytime you can have public debate about issues, people get to see where we fall on issues and how, you know, it's, it, it really, like we said, this is more about it just a, you know, a, a choice between candidates. This is a choice between the vision of, of Knoxville's future and people get to decide in debates like this where they line up and with whose vision. There were great questions. You know, the mayor of Knoxville is going to face a lot of different questions a lot of different things and and I think they're all fair you know we need to be asked the tough questions because you know people take their vote seriously and they want to know how their candidate or how other candidates uh, respond and it gives them an opportunity to say this is the person that I want representing my city uh, you know in our region in our state and in our country I think it went real well I, I'm glad we did it because it gives the people that's not has the opportunity to maybe travel and of course the heat of the day was that they can sit at home in the cool and watch it and Hope they learn something and uh, pick a candidate of their choice. Serving 12 years on city council and eight years on county commission, I've been asked a lot of questions. And if you remember back in 1995, I ran against Victor Ash, and he was a tough politician. And he always had somebody in the audience asking questions to see if you could sort of get your bump up. So the questions were fair. I mean, they were good questions. Some were tough questions, but questions that need to be answered. I think the undecided is going to make a decision in this uh, race. Uh, my job is to make sure I touch bases with those undecideds and give them some reason why they should vote for Ivan. Well, but how important do you think this particular debate is going to be in, in helping those I, I, I think it's going to be great. I think the, the undecided will drop. I think there's like 20-some percent right now, maybe undecided. It may drop down to 15 percent. But even those people that have decided, it's a long ways off to Election Day. So those that have decided could change, and I hope some of them does because I need their vote.